Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 9 talking about the various methods and techniques for testing an AI based system and today we'll be moving ahead with the last segment of this chapter which is talking about 9.7 how to select the test techniques for AI based systems. Well, of course, at the end of this chapter, we want to consolidate all the information and would like to share some of the constraints which helps the team decide that when, what will be applicable the best for the AI-based system. So here we are just trying to wrapping up and also helping you understand with those kind of applicability of the test techniques which can be relevantly used and applied back when it comes to testing an AI-based system. So an AI-based system will typically include both AI and non-AI components. The selection of test technique for the testing the non-AI component is generally the same as for any other conventional testing. For the AI-based components, the choice may be more constrained. For example, where a test oracle problem is perceived, that is, generating expected result is difficult, then, based on the perceived risk, it is possible to mitigate this problem by the use of the following techniques. For example, we have back-to-back -back testing, which requires test cases to be available or generated, and an equivalent system to act as a pseudo-oracle, which for regression testing can be a previous version of the system. For effective detection of the defects, an independently developed system may be required. So here, back-to-back -back testing is like keeping a system as a reference in parallel, where you can take help of uh, already existing system as reference to create the required expected test uh, expected uh, outcomes and results and based on that test the other system it's not about comparing but it is always about preparing the required test oracle using this particular technique similarly arb testing or these are the arb type testing this often uses operational inputs as test cases and is normally used to compare two variants of the same system using statistical analysis ARB testing can be used to check for the data poisoning of a new variant or for automated regression testing of a self-learning system. Similarly, when it comes to metamorphic testing, this can be used by inexperienced testers to cost-effectively find defects, although they need to understand the application domain for sure. MT, which is again metamorphic testing, is not suitable for providing definitive results as the expected results are not absolute, but instead relative to the source test cases. Now, commercial tool support is not currently available, but many tests can be generated manually. Now, here are quickly these examples, which are certainly telling you what is best applicable when it comes to the situation where we do have oracle problem or we have problem or difficulty in generating expected results but when it comes to the conventional uh, features of an ai based system then it is pretty much as similar as that of what we use with equivalence partition boundary value analysis etc but there are few features which are particularly uh, built as a part of the ai based system and they are completely specific to that then here are three options for you which you can certainly make use of to overcome the challenges related to test oracle. Continuing ahead, of course, the next one we have is adversarial testing, which is typically appropriate for ML models, where the mishandling of adversarial examples could have a significant impact or where the system may be attacked. Similarly, testing for data poisoning may be appropriate for ML systems where the system may be attacked again. So adversarial is more of like security and trying to understand those weak areas like vulnerabilities, which would lead to the problem of uh, adversarial impact on the system. Where the AI-based systems are complex and have multiple parameters, pairwise testing is often appropriate, which is another technique which can be applied here. Of course, we do have covered all these techniques and uh, we are just trying to correlate and share the applicability. Talking about experience-based testing is often suitable for testing AI-based systems, especially for consideration of the data used for the training and operational data. EDA can be used to validate the ML algorithm being used 
identify efficiency improvements, and leverage domain expertise, which is of course one of the common bases for experience-based testing. Google have found that their ML test checklist is an effective approach for the ML systems. Now, in the specific area of neural network, coverage of the network is often suitable for mission-critical systems with some coverage criteria requiring more rigorous coverage than others. So the coverage parameter you need to judge that where exactly what will be required more or where exactly 90% coverage would be fine, but there might be systems with which probably need 100% coverage too. So we need to just judge based on the type of the application and product which you are dealing with or the domain and the area of you know, the domain or the product which is going to be, you need to understand what is the coverage expectation on the same. So put together, these are all the matrices, these are all the factors what you need to really keep into account in order to apply a test technique very efficiently. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.